Nysora videos. Like all other Nysora simulators, the TAP and Quadratus Lamborum block simulator comes in a custom design box, which is convenient for carrying and storage. On the custom tray, there are clear labels as to which part of the body the simulator belongs to. Clear instructions for use are also provided, and all anatomical landmarks and abbreviations that are featured are printed on the label that accompanies the tray. To begin practicing, apply a generous amount of gel on the surface of the simulator. The simulator features reliable and realistic anatomical landmarks, as well as an image of where the ultrasound probe is positioned in order to begin the procedure. Before commencing needle practice, it is important to increase the ultrasound gain because of the difference in the simulator material and human tissue. In this example, we are using a curved ultrasound probe. The ultrasound image demonstrates the external and internal oblique muscles and transverse abdominal muscle. The scanning should continue posteriorly until it reaches the edge of the transversus abdominus muscle and its connection with the quadratus lumborum muscle. The needle is inserted in plane to reach the junction between the end of the transversus abdominus muscle and the quadratus lumborum muscle, which constitutes either a tap block or QL1. Additional procedures, such as QL2 and QL3, can be practiced using this simulator and the instructions included in the packaging.